Today I'm going to show you how to make a number two pencil jig in Lightburn and I'm not going to fool around. I'm going to get right to it. We're going to do this as quick as possible so I don't lose your attention. Make sure you're set to inches in your layout and make a rectangle any size just drop and drag it. Make sure you're unlocked. Your rectangle needs to be 7.5 inches by 0.24. Hit enter that's your pencil slot right there. Uh, once you cut that line, it will not, uh, the pencil won't fall through. Go over here to Array. Let's make 10 of these. And then I have my Y spacing set at 0.3. That lets the pencils sit pretty snugly together, but not too close that they get in each other's way. And this will maximize the, the piece of wood that you're using. You could make multiple columns, you could make 20 rows, you could make 50 rows, whatever whatever you want to do here. All right, let's hit Control A. And I'm just going to drag this down into the center where we can see it. At this point, come over here and do your settings for your cut line uh, to cut these slots out. I'm going to do mine on a CO2, so my speed is set at 10 and 40. With one pass, if you were going to do this on like a diode laser, you might want to go 10 and 85 or 90 and maybe with two passes, depending on how thick the wood is. But set it to what you know will cut through the piece of wood that you're going to use for this project. Okay, so now that we have that all set up, we're going to add some text. So let's come over here and I'm just going to set the height to 0.12. You can go just a little bit bigger than that if you want to. And I'm just going to type in my name. And now what you do to get this thing centered is you select your text. And let's put it on a different layer so, um, so we don't get it confused with the cut layer. I've done that before. Now let's select the box come up here to align selected objects horizontally align H center and now your thing is in the center so now you can take your text and copy it Oop. and paste it control C control V move it down here do the same trick again select both of those center horizontally now if you want to center these vertically select both of them and come over here to the vertical and align V center and it crunches them together do that for as many as you made there are quicker ways to do this I'm sure I'm sure you could select both of these and see what your vertical spacing is, figure it out, and make a whole bunch of them and just drop and drag them in there and center it. Uh, anyway, it's just about as easy for me to do it like this as it is any other way. And I'm only making 10 of them here, so it doesn't really matter. So, okay, now that you have that set, I'm only gonna make three of them here. Uh, make sure that you have your speed and power for your engraving, this will be an engraving layer right here. Actually, if I was going to do this on a CO2, I would probably go a little bit less. And in this one, I'm going to use fill. And I don't need that many lines per inch. Uh, let's just go with 250 lines per inch. That should be enough. And I'm going to do fill all shapes at once. Uh, otherwise the laser will be bouncing around once it makes the J it'll shake back and forth and then make the O and shake back and forth this will be uh, this will induce a little less shaking in the laser it might take just a hair longer but uh, that's about it now let's come over here and let's put some more text in here let's make this maybe a quarter of an inch big right here uh, that is not a quarter of an inch that is 25 inches and let's type number two pencil jig 
and I'm going to just drag this in a more reasonable location and because this is an engraving and that you only want to do once let's put this on its own layer and set it to the same speed that I would do the other one 40 25 and I also want it to be a fill and it, this could be either one uh, but what the heck let's just keep it all uniform here so but once you've done this once you would want to turn the output layer uh, off so uh, if for some reason you wanted to move all of these you would just select all 10 of them and then you could come over here to your Y position whoop, your X position and you can move it more towards the center and then keep your text centered uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to draw a frame box over here and just make it any size that you want and let's put it on its very own layer and all you're gonna do here is engrave a line Uh, it should be 4025 but it doesn't matter so um, uh, when you set your project up to engrave your pencils you would turn all of your layers off and then you would frame your box and align it and once your framing is perfect then uh, turn the framing box off and then just turn the layer on that you want to engrave here and that will ensure that your spacing's perfect and that you're aligned correctly once this frame operation is perfect on this box over here. So that's about it. Again, you can make multiple columns, multiple rows. Uh, you could draw a whole nother rectangle here and make that a cut line and uh, while you're cutting the thing out and you can go ahead and or you can use a pre pre cut uh, sized piece of wood so that's it that is a quick down and dirty way to make a number two pencil jig and i hope that you enjoyed this thank you